So this video is going to be a little heavy. I'm sorry guys, but this is something I really need to address. Hey guys, what's up? It's Maddie. And for a lot of you guys who watch my channel, you know that I grew up a gymnast. I did gymnastics for 10 years. And lately, I have been really following closely with the Larry Nassar case. For any of you who don't know what this case is about, <sighs> oh, this guy is so revolting. Let me just tell you, okay? So Larry Nassar has been the official hired doctor for most collegiate and Olympic gymnastics sports teams in the North for many, many, many years, like over a decade. And basically in the past year, hundreds and hundreds of allegations have been coming out from female gymnasts that they were sexually abused by Nassar during their treatments. To keep this as PG-13 rated as I can on my channel to tell you guys what their abuse was like. They would go to Nassar for treatments. These gymnasts who were anywhere from the ages of 11 to 18, young, very young women, underage, and he would tell them that he was performing a very special treatment and he was one of the only people who knew about this treatment and he would ask to record some of them and he would sexually abuse them. With one hand he would massage the area that was in pain. Usually it was like a hamstring or somewhere on their back that was bothering them and with the other hand he would go inside of these girls with no gloves on and he would say that it was all part of the process and that he was helping them. And these girls were so young that they had no clue what was going on. So that is just the official story. Now we're going to get on to <laughs> why this is so messed up. Like I said, a lot of you guys know that I did gymnastics for 10 years of my life, but I've never told you guys where that took place or how like why this bothers me so much. I grew up in Michigan. I did gymnastics for 10 years at Get It's Twist Stars, which is where Larry Nassar worked half of his time. I was actually one of his patients for, um, for my wrist and a few times for my Achilles, which is a tendon in your calf. A lot of my teammates are the ones who are coming forward to talk about this issue. Like Jordan Weber, Lindsay Lemke, Cameron Moore. There are literally, y'all, 150 girls who have come forward at this point. And this was all under the supervision of Larry Nassar and John Geddert, who was the owner of our gym. And he hired Larry exclusively for years wouldn't let girls go and see another doctor. They could only see Larry. Like when I was there and I was getting, like if I had any issues during training, nope, you go and see Larry, you don't go to an outside doctor, you go and talk to him. It breaks my heart to think about all of my teammates who went through that and they thought it was normal. Like if you listen to the reports and you listen to these girls' statements, they're all talking about how they would go to these treatments and they would cry beforehand and after, but they would all talk to each other about it and they all thought that it was fine because it was happening to all of them. And to think that somebody in such a high power can get away with something like that is disgusting. We're just going to talk for a second about what is wrong with the entire USA gymnastics system. They let one man get away with violating over 150 girls and nothing was said about it for years. Several of them reported about having said something years beforehand. They just brushed it under the rug. Like so many people have also come forward saying that they have been offered payment to keep quiet about this issue. Why? Like, why are so many people wanting Larry to still be in power 
And why are so many people doubting that this even happened in the first place? Oh, okay, I could go on a rant for that for so long. But we have such a corrupted system in place to even allow something like this to happen. And we're going to talk about that. The reason this was even allowed to happen at my gym, at Gutter's Twist Stars, was because two very powerful and very corrupt men were able to unite together and make this giant force field of an impenetrable force, which was John Gettert and Larry Nassar. They would not work without the other one. They would not go anywhere without the other. And if you tried to separate the two, it was like, you're gone. Like, you can't enter the system if you don't go through one of those two men, and preferably both of them, <laughs> if they had it their way, which they always did because they made it like that. And that is an issue because neither of these men should be in power of any woman. Any woman whatsoever because they are what's wrong with the gymnastics system. Gymnastics is such a brutal sport anyways. It plays such mind games on you mentally and physically. It screws up your confidence. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. And it like messes up your body. If you think about all those tricks and tumbling passes, Think of how many times you have to fall and hurt yourself in order to actually master the trick. It takes a lot of effort and a lot of hard work. And for people like John, like for most coaches, failure is not an option. You know if you went to practice that day, anything less than perfect was not an option. Otherwise you would be punished. Whether that be through extra half hour of conditioning, getting screamed at in front of everyone, public humiliation, through getting objects thrown at you. They would throw water bottles, pens, whatever. If they were mad at what you were doing, if you weren't doing your skill right, they would just push you off whatever object you were on. The beam, the bars, whatever. Just give you a shove. And this isn't just John. Like, John was the scariest coach. You did not want to be anywhere near him. But this was also a majority of the others because they led by example. If you, no matter if you were a gymnast or a coach, weren't satisfactory to John's standards, you were cut off. And so you're not going to want to be there unless you do things the way he wants them done. And what's me saying that, like, things can't be less than perfect, this includes injuries, y'all. I'm talking, if there is anything wrong with you, if it is not live or die, you don't talk about it. Because if they do, you're seen as replaceable. You're seen as less than perfect in your coach's eye. And, you know, that's not tolerated in this sport. And so girls push themselves, girls and boys. But like, I'm talking about at my gym, what the girls went through. So the girls pushed themselves to such extreme limits because they didn't want to get in trouble for having an injury. And when they were injured, they had to go see Larry Nassar. He was the only option. And what did he do? He violated them. Just, just take that in for a second. You are a young, young girl who's already so messed up mentally about possibly getting kicked out, your coach is being mad at you for even having an injury, you just want to get back and at it so you can train as hard as you can, and the one person who's supposed to try to make things a little less stressful for you and trying to help you get better is molesting you and asking you if he can videotape it. For medicinal reasons. <laughs> For research purposes. That's, that's so messed up. We live in that kind of world. I can't pretend to know what it feels like because honestly, it didn't happen to me and I'm so thankful for that. But if any one of the victims ever watch this video, I want to say from the bottom of my heart that you are my freaking hero. 
the courage it takes for you to stand up to somebody who abuses you in any sort of manner, I can't even put into words. And I'm so proud of you. Y'all were my teammates, and I know I was <laughs> I was not as skilled as you most of you were on the gymnastics <laughs> playing field. So a lot of you probably don't even know who I am, but I looked up to all of you. When I saw all of your names in the newspapers, I cried because I looked up to each and every single one of you girls and to know that you went through this is so disturbing and so heartbreaking and y'all are freaking superheroes. You are the reason that women are becoming as powerful as we are today. So I want to say thank you so much. <laughs> like thank you. And to Larry. <laughs> to the coward who sits behind a table and says that all of the victims coming forwards, their statements are too hard for him to hear. <laughs> I am so, so sorry that you have to go through this. Really, I am because it must be so hard for you to listen to what you did to these girls and to know that you made them stronger women and that all the torture that you inflicted them through yeah now it's coming back to bite you in the butt and now that they are way stronger of a person than you'll ever be yeah that must just really be so hard for you so I am so so sorry <laughs> my open honest letter to Larry Nassar and the United States Gymnastics Team. Everybody who runs it, please be more careful with the girls who provide their trust into you because they're depending on you. <laughs>